The verified policy of Kazakhstan to enter the top 30 developed countries of the world became an inspiration for many states. International experts say that building a strong modern economy will ensure high rates of development, stability and well-being of the Kazakhstan people. Currently, Kazakhstan is one of the strong and influential countries in Central Asia. Moreover, it successfully integrates into the global community. Kazakhstan has established itself as a competitive state, successfully opposing new challenges and risks of the 21st century. Century. Kazakhstan, is etabliert. Kazakhstan has become a strong and influential state in Central Asia, but it is important to develop internal policy as well. Citizens should be sure that the country is being developed. This must be the main goal of the government. It is important to take care of the people. I think Kazakhstan can be the inspiration for Central Asian countries due to its social and economic policy. Turkish businessmen are interested to launch a number of new enterprises in Kazakhstan. For example, they are planning to begin the construction of a corrugated packaging facility. The project cost is estimated at about 10 million US dollars. Firstly, this project will give us an increase in production by foreign investors with great export potential to the territory of Russia and other countries. Secondly, this project will attract new technologies in terms of paper production. Meanwhile, another Turkish company plans to build a sodium carbonate facility in Jambil region. The company is planning to invest more than 300 million US dollars in this project. The design capacity of the plant at the initial stage will be 400,000 tons per year. Once the facility starts operating, the products will be supplied to both domestic and international markets. A textile factory for a full cycle of sewing men's shirts will also be built and invested by Turkish businessmen. The factory will be built in Aktube. The high-quality finished products are planned to be sold to foreign countries at affordable prices. More than 1,600 enterprises with the participation of Turkish capital are successfully operating in Kazakhstan. The key factors attracting foreign business to the country are favorable investment climate, various preferences and stability. In the Karaganda region, innovative technologies are being introduced to search for copper deposits. Explorations are now carried out with the help of drones that conduct a thorough aerial survey. Geologists are now studying the Azurne field. Drones, unlike other aircrafts, allow the researchers to survey the terrain at low altitudes. The project is implemented jointly with the Canadian company, a world leader in electrical survey sensing technology. Traditional technologies are also used here to explore the field. After after all the studies, the geologists will compare the data and then make a decision on the start of the field development. Now we can shorten the time for exploration to one month by using quadrocopter and a drone. The results of the survey are usually available within 10 days. Special expert team defines the exact location for drilling. So in just 40 days, we can finish a large amount of work. Kazakhstan adopts the experience of China in the agricultural sector. The Kazakhstan-China Demonstration Zone of Agricultural Innovations, located 70 kilometers from Almaty, is successfully operating for several years. Various types of agricultural products and advanced technologies from China are being adapted to the local conditions. There are 46 varieties of wheat, corn, beans, rapeseed and other crops. Despite the hot weather, the primary grain processing is completed fully. Grain defects and impurities are removed from bio and wheat. Svetlana can determine which grain was processed based on her two years' work experience. Grains can be different depending on its seeds. Last year we processed Chinese grain. It completely differs in quality. The Chinese grain is small and ours is bigger. Two Chinese varieties of winter wheat have successfully passed the weather test as the grains are resistant to the local weather conditions and diseases and provided good yields. The wheat is sowed on 10 hectares of land. Other grain varieties are being tested on the site. 
также высевали те семена наши местные, значит, отечественные селекции и также полученные из России. We planted and sowed local and Russian grain. It is interesting to compare the selection of Chinese scientists, how much it differs from domestic and Russian grain, not only by yield capacity, but also geochemical composition, by vegetable gelatin and by protein content. По урожайности, но и по биохимическому составу, то есть по кликовине, по содержанию протеина. Kazakhstan-China Demonstration Zone of Agricultural Innovations is located 70 kilometers from Almaty. The area of the zone will be increased by 10 times if the project succeeds. Experts said that the cooperation will significantly increase the productivity of the agro-industrial complex in Kazakhstan. The agricultural products can be stored in warehouses. The sale of seed to local agricultural producers is possibly after the completion of certification and registration in the country. Our company was established here in 2015 when the agreement was signed with the Kazakhstan farmers. We see dynamics of development for four years. We grow more than 46 varieties of agricultural products using advanced technologies. We hold Farmers' Day in Almaty region every year, where the farmers get acquainted with our achievements, results for the year, as well as new discoveries of technology and seed. There are 700 farms in the Turgen rural area. Many of the farms are engaged in crop production. Local authorities have expressed interest to cooperate with the Chinese farmers and are ready to help them. We as local authorities try to help the foreign technologists with housing conditions and land leasing issues prior to their arrival. We also try to resolve issues concerning land allocation which we give out for rent to them and we help with their documentation process. China is also ready to share technologies of growing vegetables in greenhouses with Kazakhstan. Tomato seedlings are currently being prepared for planting. Cucumbers and peppers of Chinese varieties will also be planted. The first harvest is expected for winter. Conservation of rare and endangered species of birds in Central Asia has become an important topic that attracts the attention of leading global scientists. American biologist and ornithologist Todd Katzner is conducting a study on the region's wild birds. As part of his project, he visited the Naurzum State Natural Reserve in Kazakhstan to explore different bird species such as the golden eagle, steppe eagle and the white-tailed eagle. He participated in the development of the first non-invasive monitoring scheme for all types of birds. According to the ornithologist, the breakthrough technology is very important for environmental studies of birds in Central Asia. Eagles are really difficult to trap. And it's really hard, if I, if I have the best trapper in the world, he will trap one eagle every five or ten days, okay? To, if, if I want to study a population of eagles, that's a lot of money and time to do that work. But if I, want to use, if I can use non-invasive methods, you know, we did this fantastic study in Kazakhstan where we developed this technique that involves using genetic analyses of feathers. And in one week, we can visit 50 or 60 eagle nests and get samples from 100 different birds. And that's incredibly simple, straightforward, and, and cost-effective work. Kyrgyzstan relies on ecological and ethnic tourism. The Central Asian country attracts many tourists from all over the world with its unique nature, rich history, customs and traditions. The high mountainous Kyrgyz's Lake Songkol is one of the most popular destinations among foreign visitors. The locals have grazed cattle at the lake for centuries. There is no electricity or mobile communication systems in the area. There is only pristine nature and mountains. Ecotourism has become a profitable business for the locals. We inherited a unique Kyrgyz house from our ancestors. Tourists really liked the yurt. They sleep on the floor, eat on the floor. They inhale clean air from the mountains. They are living the lifestyle of the nomads. 
Festivals are often held near the lake where local customs are performed to tourists. Foreign visitors can experience the national traditions as well as learn about the history of the Kyrgyz people and hear ancient legends. For example, tourists are introduced to national competitions and the art of making yarn and Kyrgyz carpets, kiyis and shirdaks. Tourists from other countries highly appreciate the hospitality and traditions of Kyrgyzstan. I think it's a, it's a really nice country because uh, people are very nice. Everywhere when uh, we are coming, people host us, so it's, uh, it's very nice. And the country, the nature, it's beautiful. You can see uh, like uh, many flowers and animals also. We are holding such events to attract foreign visitors to Narin region. It is ethno-tourism. We have five districts and one city in the region. In order to attract tourists, each district represents the traditions and customs of our ancestors. Just recently, we have a Kumis festival in Atbashi district. The number of tourists in Lake Songkol is increasing every year. 10,000 tourists visited the lake five years ago, and now the number has reached 35,000. Kazakhstan and China have agreed to prioritize increasing the number of tourists as well as cargo transportation between the countries. The successful achievement of the goals depends on the improvement of highway. Due to this, the reconstruction of an international highway, Usharal Dostik Highway, has started in Almaty region. It is 183 kilometers long. Next year, tourists will be able to reach Lake Alakol by train and plane as well as by using the highway. Experts said that the opening of the highway will increase the number of tourists. Many tourists want to come to Alakol by their own vehicles. Therefore, the importance of the route for the region is great. In addition, the volume of cargo transportation by rail between Kazakhstan and China is 25 million tons per year. Therefore, the great prospects will open in the field of road transport with the launch of a highway of international importance. I think this route has a great future. About 1,500 cars go through the highway in the direction of Usharal Dostik every day in the summer. Experts say that after the completion of construction work, the figure will increase by several times. The width of the road connecting the two states will be 9 meters. Two lanes are provided in both directions. This is one of the first turnkey projects which we develop and implement ourselves. This year, we are planning to finish 0 to 30. We will begin from 30 to 0 railway mileposts. The project is completed and it is now being assessed by the state. We will begin working after the assessment. The construction works will be held in three stages. More than 16 billion tenge was granted for the first 60 kilometers of the road. The completion of repairs on the Usharal Dostik Highway is expected by the end of 2021. Naurzum National Nature Reserve is one of the oldest reserves in Kazakhstan. There are many tourists, not only from the country but also from foreign countries. Tourists from Europe, China, Canada and the USA visit the reserve. For the last three years, the tourist inflow increased by 50%. The nature reserve attracts the tourists with its diversity of flora and fauna. The tourists are interested in animals and birds that inhabit in the reserve. For example, they can see nests and hatchlings of golden eagles, eagles, white-tailed eagles, saker falcons and black larks. Furthermore, they can see the hunting of these birds. Several halls of the Nauruzum Nature Reserve Museum stores various collections of species of birds and animals, insects and fish that inhabit in the region. We have 24 species of predatory birds that inhabit here. You can see grey heron and the great egret. These birds live here. Every year the reserve is visited by up to 1,000 visitors. Family tourism and weekend tours are popular among the tourists. A guest house is available for the tourists at the nature reserve. Tents are also available. All of the facilities are provided on site. Professional photographer Torsten Provan is one of the yearly visitors of the reserve. 
Nothing can stop the people who want to see and experience the virgin nature. This reserve provides opportunity to those who want to conduct detailed research. Igor Akimov likes to visit Nauruzum Nature Reserve. He comes with his family and sometimes with friends. He prefers to visit the reserve in June or September. There is an amazing nature here. It is located in this region. There are forests, steppe and lake, as well as birds, which you will not see anywhere else. Constant improvisation is always being done at the nature reserve in order to increase the number of tourists. For example, the reserve is planning to build a man-made beach as well as purchase a sightseeing bus. The researchers at the Kazakh National Archive are studying the ancient manuscripts. They will soon work together with the Scientific Expert Council of Kazakhstan's Ethnic Assembly. This cooperation will create an opportunity for new research prospects. The ancient manuscripts are the artifacts of the national history the local researchers believe. The special platform will allow the representatives of various ethnic groups to be involved in the work. The National Archive now stores nearly 6,000 volumes of manuscripts. The most valuable is the manuscript of the 10th century about the life of Prophet Muhammad. The manuscript has already been translated into several languages. In order to study our history, culture, first of all, we need these manuscripts that have survived till today, these original records in Farsi and Chinese. In the future, our scientists will share the results of their research with the general public. We want to appeal to a wide circle of readers who are interested in the history of Kazakhstan, Central Asia and Eurasia. The Literature Challenge in honor of the 175th anniversary of Abai Kunanbayev has received support in other countries. France picked up the baton from Kazakhstan. Works of the great poet were read in the cultural center at the embassy. The marathon of poetry reading was supported by diplomats. Albert Fischler, an honorary professor of French literature, also joined the challenge. The poetry reading marathon was filmed on the phone in popular places in the French capital. Participants of the challenge noted on the heritage of the Kazakh poet and philosopher Abai Kunanbayev as an integral part of the treasures of world culture. I have accepted the invitation to participate in the challenge in honor of Abai because I have been learning the Kazakh language for about one year and a half. I have some progress I can communicate, but I would also like to speak in the literature poetic language to be closer to the literature culture of Kazakhstan. When you learn a language, you also learn the culture, so it becomes a necessity for me. The poetry challenge was also supported in Russia. Mikhail Shvitkoy, special representative of the Russian Federation for International Cultural Cooperation, read his favorite poetry, Our Mind is Cold Like Ice. The 175th anniversary of Abai Kunanbayev will be celebrated next year in Kazakhstan. The country has planned various large-scale events at the international, republican and regional levels. Movement of military and historical reconstruction is being developed in Kazakhstan. A special contribution to the revival of medieval martial art is made by members of the Club of Pavlodar region. Great support is provided by scientists and archaeologists of Margulan Center. They hold competitions in traditional historical places. For example, one of the competitions was organized at the Sakam Mount. The contestants dressed in 40-kilogram clothing surprised the UNESCO scientists with the skill and technique of weapon control. Young people are engaged in the ancient martial art and defend the honor of the country in the international arena.
исторические средневековые бои. Это мировой вид спорта, который очень активно развивается. Он существует... Medieval martial arts are a worldwide sport, which is actively being developed in our country. It is practiced in all continents. The teams are very skilled and strong. There is a championship with 40 participating countries. We represent Kazakhstan in this competition. The fighters of our club are part of the national team of Kazakhstan. There are large requirements for protective equipment. Из этого высокие требования к защитному снаряжению. In the near future, activists of the movement plans to open their own workshop in order to restore the costumes of the Middle Age nomads. The researchers of the Akinak Club are involved in the reconstruction of the armor of the ancient warriors.